Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Harima Hayas and I make videos on all things productivity. Today I wanted to talk about the Remarkable 2 and to be more specific about the desktop and mobile application. I already made a video on a review of the device and the new feature overview when they did their latest update. I will link those in this video so you can check this out afterwards if you want. So let's get started. If you want to download the desktop app for the Remarkable 2, you can just go to the website of the Remarkable and here it explains what the desktop app entails. It is possible to set it up for your desktop and for your mobile. If you have done this and you open the app, this is what it looks like. On the left side you can see folders with your files. You can go and check your notebooks, your PDF documents and ebooks that you have and you can even select favorites and you can throw a lot of things away. You can see my beginning page at the Remarkable. It shows all my files. What I can do here is create a new folder. So for example, I will make a Remarkable folder. So if I want, I can import documents here via my desktop. Let's see. This is a research paper on climate change. So I put it here and then automatically it will also um, connect this to my Remarkable tablet. So I will also have it there, which is really nice. Um, if I select this, I can make it a favorite. So it comes in the favorites folder. What else? I can, I can rename it. So sometimes when you download something, the name is not what you want it to be. Um, I can copy it and place it here so I have a copy of the document. I can just select multiple books. You cannot select with your mouse but you can select it with your control or shift key and I want to move it to my books folder and I say insert here and then the books are here. There is also another way to move your documents and that is to grab them and drag them to the right folder and then it's also in the books folder which is really nice to have. This is a notebook I did for work and then I can just move it to trash because it's not important anymore. You can also move this to trash because it will just dust it out and then everything is here and I think you can also delete it permanently. It asks you if you agree with that so I say yes everything can go away so I'll put in shift and I can just and then it is clean again. I can also, I have also my folders that I removed previously, so I can, ah, I see, I can also just empty the trash and then it empties everything. Ah, that was good to know, I didn't know that. Um, and then in your file section, it does always have the quick sheets. You can really remove this, you can copy it or make it a favorite. But this is just something that you can easily click on and make a new document. As you can see, I already made a few folders for myself. Um, this is a little bit of a productivity system that I'm working on. I have a folder for my work, for my personal use, for books I read and for YouTube. Um, I think I will probably make a video about how I manage all my documents and all my notes, all my books. I think that will be interesting. So that video is coming up and I think that these are the most important and interesting things of the desktop application. 
So let's get into the mobile phone. I can see immediately that it did not sync up with what we did on the desktop app. So that kind of sucks. I also feel, oh, it is doing it now. So it is a little bit slower. Um, I feel like the desktop app works a little bit more faster than the phone app. Um, sometimes it also takes a while um, if I import something via my phone for it to show up on the Remarkable. But overall, it does really work. Um, it really also makes organizing your device a lot easier. But it kind of has the same features as the desktop app. So I can make a folder if I want. I can select it and you get all the options. So you can move a folder or document, you can rename it, you can make it your favorite. And you can move it to the trash, which I will do. So here again, you see my like home page, but the grid book still needs to go to books, but you can see that it is still working on it. Oh, you can click on it and then it works. So the books also need to synchronize. Okay, now everything is synchronized. Um, it would be nice if that would work immediately without me having to wait or do extra things. Um, so, well, as I said, you can see my uh, homepage, you can see all the folders that I made and the files that I have with the quick sheets. Um, you have different ways of sorting, which you can also do on the Remarkable and the desktop app. Um, I like to sort it by name. So if you click on menu, you can then just go easily to your notebook, PDFs, ebooks, favorites trash you can also see everything in a list which is not possible on the desktop app so you can make a list of your um, folders and you can make a list of your books which is also very handy for if you're looking something up um, i can just use the grid which is again the same standard overview but i kind of like the list honest especially if you have if you have multiple documents it's very easy to just go go through the application um, you can import stuff if you want um, yeah I think these are the main things for the mobile app which is also good to use but as I said I feel it's a little bit more slower in synchronizing everything I think that is the biggest disadvantage for me um, I really love using both the applications. Um, it is very basic. For now, I am very happy with this and I think this works fine. I thought maybe it's good to also look if the Remarkable itself is synchronized. Let me get it out. Ah, okay. So this one is synchronized already did everything that we did on the application so that is good to know i hope this video was helpful and useful for you guys if it was please like and subscribe i am still a very small channel and i would love to grow but i need your help with that and i want to thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you at the next productivity video